Hey everyone and welcome to Daily Scuba News. DARPA has announced four companies it's selected to work under its Manta Ray program. Three of the companies will be tasked with developing an integrated solution for the program's operational technology areas fun times, uh, according to DARPA. The fourth company will focus on the topic of undersea energy harvesting options capable of working at depths DARPA has also planned with, so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but what is the actual Manta Ray program? Well, it's DARPA's effort to develop unmanned underwater vehicles that can carry payloads, travel long distances, and withstand long duration missions. Uh, the program will be used to demonstrate the critical technologies that will make this possible, according to DARPA, uh, with which describes as a future of UUVs, as they're called, uh, they'll be able to operate independently from crew vessels or human interaction. Uh, the goal for the program isn't to actually get a final unmade underwater vehicle, but rather to advance key technologies that will be essential for future underwater vehicles. The tech they'll be testing includes high efficiency and low power propulsion systems, methods to migrate corrosion and by fouling of the waters, material uh, degradation, or degradation, yeah, I'm gonna carry on from that, uh, that may happen during long duration missions and plenty of other tests. The companies they've picked are of course skilled with the task at hand and some are well known in the tech industry such as Navatec, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman. Grumman? I'm I blatantly butchered that, so I do apologize. Anyway, so it looks like it's another step closer to having unmanned robots scanning our oceans, tracking climate change, plastic pollution, as well as other key areas in our oceans. But how do you feel about this? Is unmanned vehicles the right step? Uh, are they better to actually be human or, you know, human controlled, should we say? Uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy scuba divers. Nick, get the phone. Well, first things first, clean and sterilize your own kit. The CDC say that household cleaners are as effective against COVID-19 as they are against the common cold and flu viruses. Therefore, cleaning and disinfecting equipment meant for you or even another person, such as a second stage, masks, snorkels, and even a BCD's or 